We all know the story of Paul Revere and his midnight ride, thanks to Longfellow's poem. Two years later, there would be another ride made by a 16-year-old girl. Her name was Sib Sybil Ludington. Her father was Colonel Henry Ludington of the New York Militia. It wouldn't be until the 20th century that the story would be told and promoted. This would raise some questions about how authentic the story actually was. Just as the story of Betsy Ross being the first American flag maker um, would be by Laurel Thatcher Ulrich. The reason why it was in question because there were several books that were made about the New York militia and about her father, uh, Colonel Henry Ludington. And she was never mentioned in any of these. But the residents of Putnam and Dutchess County would make her local story known through markers around the town where her possible ride led and also looking at several documents. The Daughters of the American Revolution would be her biggest promoters and defenders, according to Paula Hunt, because they would be ones to want to promote women in the warrior or uh, women founder roles, not just our founding fathers. Um, records at the time, such as diaries, military records, maps, and the like would be used to piece together her route and her story. Her story would even make it into the PBS program of Liberty's Kids. Her father would not be in that episode, but she was and kind of outshines her father in a way. And her story goes as follows. On April 25th in 1777, Major General William Tyron the royal governor of New York would march to Danbury to show his might against the rebels and to gain their arms or destroy their arms that they were supposedly had hidden there. On his way there, there would be several encounters with rebels that would ambush him and slow him down and to stop him if could. Um, he would eventually make it to Danbury and burn down most of the town and he decided he wasn't going to take the military weapons due to the fact that he didn't have the manpower due to the ambushes that he was going through. So he decided to destroy them. Um, there would be a messenger, messenger that would ride from Danbury to inform Colonel Henry Ludington who had just allowed his men to go home and to start planting because it was planting season at the time. And so they were going to till the land. But little did he know that the British were literally a few miles from him. Now this may seem like an ignorant decision on the Colonel's behalf, but again, he didn't, under, he didn't know that they were about to attack. Many thought he was a very intelligent businessman and military leader. He even had a price on his head placed by General Howe of the British Army. Whether they caught him dead or alive was up to them. He would even have an attempt made at his home. His daughter, Sybil, our main her heroine, would find out or notice he was sneaking around the house and would stop him. They grabbed candles and lit them and she would wake up many of her siblings because she was the oldest of 12 and give them a broomstick and have them march in the candlelight to seem like there was many guards in the house saving her father's life. So she was a heroine on two fronts. Um, on April 26th at 9 p.m. the messenger would arrive at the Ludington house. He would tell them that Danbury was burn, burning. And so now Ludington have a problem because his men were scattered. The rider and the horse were too tired to even move on to get, to get them in. And Ludington couldn't leave because he would have to rally the troops. So Sybil volunteered. Um, her father reluctantly 
uh, said yes, he didn't want her to be caught by any military men and any vagrants that are around the area, such as the men who would love to get his life and collect the bounty. But she got on her horse and she rode for around 20 to 40 miles, depending on the historian. She would succeed in this mission of getting all the men to come. She would knock on their doors and tell them that Danbury was burning. Once all the men were gathered, her father, along with Worcester and Arnold's men, would push Chiron back to his ship. Not fully a successful mission, but it would cause the Americans to see the British in a new light and to turn the tide in the, the war and get many to be recruited for the American cause. So Sybil was a young girl, a heroine, one of the founding women, if you want to say, because she would play a big part in the American Revolutionary War.